All right, all right, all right. It's Dunny back again. As you can see, tonight we're working on the front suspension. And a promised video of how front suspension works. So, as you can see, we have our upper control arms, okay, and our lower control arms. This is a steering setup that I had made myself. I ain't got the steering box in yet, but I'll get to that. Now, the reason that I wanted to do this video is because when they design these things, these cars, like no matter how big the scale is, it still comes down to the same basic geometry. Okay, now, as you can see, I put in adjustable upper control arms and fixed lowers which like 90 percent of the cars from like the 50s until like the McPherson struts come out like the mid 80s have now this brings your this is your center point okay now you have caster that goes this way and camber which goes this way and then you have your toe in, which tows your wheels in and out. Now, one thing I did want to point out was, okay, so you look, everything looks pretty centered, doesn't it? If you look at it, eh, toe in's a little bit in, about, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch. Because it, it doesn't matter how big the scale is. Whether it's big, small, it doesn't matter. You still need that toe in. You still need your caster, your camber set. But watch what happens when you put weight on the vehicle. Now watch what happens to these two spindles right here. Everything seems cool, right? Watch. Watch how they pull inward. <laughs> Look at that. Now when I put the body on this thing, it's going to be like pigeon-toed like crazy. And where I work, we have to have set parts on a vehicle before we can align it so say you and your buddies want to go and say hey you know what my car's almost done and I'm gonna rock over there and get a front end alignment on it even though I don't have the bumper on it or the motor in it or any of that stuff it ain't gonna work they're not gonna do it because this is why right here it, yeah it's, they align it the way you come in but when you leave and come home put the motor in it it's gonna look like that you have to go back in pay again so, now, as you'll see, there's going to be a center point here where the body floats and the wheels only move slightly. That's your ride height. Okay? That keeps your stability when you're driving down a road at high speeds. Now, when you hit some whoop-de-doos, that's why the car gets all squirrely. Okay? Because it does that right there. So, when you're out with your buddies and you have a few beers and you're like, hey, let's go over this little whoop-de-doo here and like... Uh, Let's launch it over there and you land on the other side and all of a sudden you're jerking the wheel back and forth and you smoke the pole and the mailbox and all that stuff. You're going to know why now. So anyway, everything's almost done here except this here. Now I have reservations about putting a servo in the front here because this thing's ready to roll. It is. It's like even though it doesn't look like it is. I mean, within an hour, I could have it on the road and running. So, I did hook up my, just a quick uh, electronic speed control that I had. And I did put in a carrier bearing here because the drive shaft is so long. And when this thing shifts, it's brutal. It's like, you know, first to second, it's sudden. So I'm thinking it's going to twist that up a little bit. I may have to redesign that. This is the fun part in my life. Okay, I want to see what's going to what's going to let go here that I've made, and then I, I'm going to improve it. So that's how we work it. I'm not running. If you see in the background here, I have a Leopard motor. Okay. Four pole, it's sweet, okay. However, it's only a thousand kV. 
and it's slow, <laughs> SLO, slow. And uh, but the weight of that thing over there versus the weight of this thing here, it's going to push this thing upwards around 35 pounds, if not more, by the time I'm done. So the reason I bought that thing was because I may need uh, I may need to slow it down. Right now it's freaking insane because I'm running a 22 kV brushless motor in it and only 14.4 volts. Now the Leopard motor will hold 48 volts, so you know it's up to the speed control how many cells I want to run and all that. But then again, every man missing those limitations, you know. You blow 20 years on something like this, and you say, hey, you know, I'm going to go out and, like, fuck it up. Hey, that's your, you know, that's my fault, you know. So, anyway, the rear end's done. This is, like, a handmade piece, as you can see. You know, it's, like, four tens, and uh, it's smooth, smooth as silk. And one thing I didn't realize was how... <laughs> You know, fifth scale tires are very stiff, and they got really stiff blue foams in them. But when I cranked this thing up there, and it hit like third gear, these tires like looked like almost pizzas. So I was like, oh, here we go again. That's why I may want to cut the speed down on it and uh, go from there. So anyway, like I say, my next video is going to be um, of me firing this thing up and running it. And doing like a tabletop run here so you guys can see what's going on. So, anywho, this is Denny. And uh, tonight, you know, this is what I wanted to show you guys was the front end geometry on how it works. And, you know, it's just simple measurements side to side, X, X, X on the wheels and, you know, your wheelbase and your wheelbase side to side. Once you come up with a square and an X, you can build almost anything. So, tonight is uh, a thinking night. So, as you can see, I'm going to do a little thinking here. So, I've been doing a lot of thinking, actually, and uh, I'm going to study it for a while. And then tomorrow, I might study a little bit more. And then we'll get on to bigger and better things and fire the thing up and do another video for you guys. So, you can see where I stand now. The rear body is almost done. The frame is almost done. I can't wait to tear it all apart and paint it. And continue on with the body. But we're going to do a frame run. And uh, with no body. And then we're going to do a body on the frame run. And we're going to test it out and see. So, I'm going to go back to thinking. And uh, you guys have a great Friday night. And if you're getting snow like I am, sorry, buddies. <laughs> it happens. But I'll catch you later. Adios.